Hello, this is your big sis, Rowena Starling. Uh, just wanted to help you give thanks for the day that we've had today, this beautiful day. And I uh, was thinking about some time long ago, easily, I don't know, probably 2011, 2001, I was very depressed. Very, very depressed. Of course, at the time I didn't know I was, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I did. But uh, deeply in my feelings, negative feelings, and I think right now too about the ones who are feeling that today. And as I think about that, how I literally wanted to take my life, and the only reason I did it, didn't is because of my love for my son. He saved my life that way. As we mothers know, our kids can do that for us as well. Um, but what I wanted to share with any of you out there that are feeling that, uh, see, I wonder if you can see this sunset there it is uh, for any of you that are feeling that right now i just really wanted to share something that i'm noticing that i've information i've come across over the years that have helped me identify my you know identify my feelings and how they were affecting me and eating me alive The biggest thing that I learned in the course of all this has been to separate yourself from your feelings. You think you are your feelings and you're not your feelings. Your feelings help you to understand what you're communicating, you know, to God, the universe. That's what they're there for to do, but they are not you. So you can choose that is the exercise to learn to choose our feelings. To sit down and get quiet and understand them and love them because they're there, but to understand that you are in charge. You direct your feelings. Anyway, as time passed, I have become very good at understanding that and dealing with that and uh, eliminating, just getting rid of, that, just having that little piece of knowledge is healthier, just all the way around in all directions. And I noticed that when I did that, and as I do that still today, things get better and better and better, easier and easier and easier. So, see that whale in the background? He's not alive. <laughs> ah, you know, okay, in any event, I'm here at the Lawrence Hall of Science. That's the, that's the Hall of Science there, waterfall. I just wanted to invite you to, if you're having a hard time with feelings of any kind, you know, we want to keep all the good ones now, don't, don't get me wrong. <laughs> yeah, that good one, the good ones push everything forward that you want. But uh, don't be buying into that, into that negative, those bad feelings, the feelings that suck you dry and cause premature aging and chronic disease. All right, anyway, that's what I have to say about that. Just thinking of the, <laughs> listen to those little monsters in the background. All right, well, in any event, thank you for listening. Let me know how you're feeling today. What are you feeling today? I want to know. Tell me in the comments. Or leave me a private message. <laughs>